Hi everyone, welcome to the morning edition of Tea Time where we bring you the best in the world of entertainment. On this episode, we have an interview with an interesting personality and we'll be telling you who that is soon enough. I'm Tukum Motaiwe and I'm here with the regulars, Elsie Godwin and Ife Oshunkeye. Hi guys. Good morning. Hey. What's going on today? It's, is it all black or, I mean, I don't understand why we're all dressed in black. I don't know. You know, you was guys, that a coincidence? You, know you guys or? like to copy my style, so. You or you have, like to you copy Elf? Exactly. Like to copy oh, thank you style, very much. Yeah. Actually, yeah. You know, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, he's even dusting Go dust on, off look. his shoulder. Seriously. I don't have dust. I thank just you. Sleep on the exactly. Floor. <laughs> <laughs> I just sleep on the floor. Oh. Well, what's new? Yes, what's new? Um, you tell us today. Um, she always see, tells uh, us every day. If yesterday, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. I was. I had fun. But there's a juicy gist. We oh, have yes. On. Yeah, that is a very juicy one. Because, yes, because like, I you were supposed seeing... to be out for pain, you know, and yeah, all that. I was still in pain. But all I could see Elsie was the pain, know, pictures right? and pictures <laughs> of food. Chinese yeah. food. That was that. what I told her. I was like, oh, for the pain. By the way, did you dance on the disco floor? I did. You no, did? I'll show you the picture. Okay. I, I was I was looking forward to a video. You show the picture. I'll show you the video. You show... Right. Okay. okay. Better. Okay. 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 You show so the we have a juicy gist on... Bolanle, you know, but okay. we are not sharing yet okay. until we hear from his car. Sorry, we There's don't have an any accusation. That so there it's is an a accusation, gist. an allegation, and, and it's a rumor. We so we want him. you to debunk this I know this he's your right friend, now. but you need to calm down. So yeah. when we reach out to him and whatever he says, then we share. This. If he's so working right now, on getting so. him on the show, so, so why hopefully won't you whenever he comes that, on I'm the just show, that's the problem. That's the problem. I'm acknowledging. You know, uh, else is giving them a tip. I'm letting him know that we got your message. Yeah. and we'll work on it. All right. Okay. okay. Well, I, I was going to bring up what Ali Baba shared on Shay Law's marital crisis. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys saw that. No, tell okay, us. So he shared the picture and it was like, okay, he found it too expensive. Shei Law went too far. But it's funny how he got the buzz on social media. Mm -hmm. But this is a guy that started his career all by himself. Mm -hmm. And um, he's been selling out shoes. And instead, his, in his industry colleagues will not share posters or flyers of your events or they won't even show up or show you any support right. but the funny thing you start having marital crisis and everybody starts reaching out to you start sharing the post and starts doing that so why do we do that why can't we support each other but mm -hmm. once it's bad everybody yeah. wants to get involved if they're forever they advocate thank yeah. you very much for advocating who, who, this morning who else has a career that did not start it alone? seriously did you, so did you start your own with a group of let's not have that argument Please, because have that. Time, about I time dissect that yes as a thank you very much. On, it's okay. time to introduce we'll our guest. Guy. No, yeah. I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think it's time to introduce our studio guest. Now, um, oh, I forgot to mention. It's uh, World Radio Day, yes, isn't it? it? Is. Yes, World Radio Day. Okay, so we have um, someone in uh, radio that we're going to be talking to. He's a wedding MC, actor, compare, and on-air personality. Uh, he's with Cross Rivers Hit 95.9 FM. Uh, he's been described by many as the life of the party. If you think I know how to describe, wait till you meet our guest. He has a way with words and is incredibly funny. So much so, he's been dubbed a comedian. With almost 60,000 followers on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce the raving, resilient, and risk-taking Robbie Ekbo. Drum rolls. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> welcome, welcome right, to well, the show. That was, yeah. that was an, I don't know, that was like entry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you step out, it's smoke bomb. Man. <laughs> How you guys you doing? Sure. Not bad, thank you very much. I, I noticed you're wearing black. Yes. Yeah. And he said you guys copy his style. He yeah. says so many right. things that are not real. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, he does. But, but you can tell, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I can tell the originator. Thank yes. You. From the three you. of you. Thank yes. You. Yeah. He called, <laughs> you, he called you the life of the party. Yeah. And funny thing is, your wife is also the life of the party. Yes. So is that the attraction? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And my wife is the life of the party on social media. In real life, she's mm -hmm. actually very quiet, quiet and reserved. I have partied with your wife, in case you don't know. Uh, she is she the party, life of She the parties party. with people she knows. <laughs> oh, okay. When she's in a comfortable place. Please. Yeah. Okay. But I'm the kind of person that if I step into somewhere mm -hmm. and there's music playing, I'm play, I'm already dancing from when mm -hmm. I closed my car door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's like, what's wrong with you? Calm down, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> and you know that kind of thing. So she kind of puts me in check. So the both of you are like, you know, um, a classic case of opposites attract. Why Ex you're exactly. an extrovert, she's more of an introvert. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm, a, I'm an extreme extrovert. I know she keeps you in check from your pre-wedding photos. Though. Exactly. 
<laughs> Did you oh, guys see the upper wedding photo? <laughs> yeah, okay, some of so, you, the one. Okay. No, she was dragging him. Yeah, she was, yeah. She was young and, you know, choking, and she and he had this placard of help me, help me. So I'm like, this guy doesn't want to get married. You are very far. <laughs> okay, so speaking about your wife, you know, apparently, but you can. I, I think it's well. I think it's very well known now. But you can correct me if I'm mm. wrong. The both of you met on Instagram. Yeah, um, 2015. Okay. Um, I'm this kind of person that when I go on my timeline, I don't, I don't select pictures or quotes that I like. Once I see you on my timeline, I just keep liking and I'm just scrolling. In fact, I've been with friends where I'm I'm with, on my phone and I'm scrolling and they're like, ah, you know they select, you know. <laughs> so woke up that morning and I saw I was like, mm, okay, went to her profile. And then I started liking her pictures, like a couple of pictures. Don't uh, say a couple, though. you like seven. So many. <laughs> exactly. Seven I was six, like, seriously. <laughs> that one is not just scrolling on your one. She's the only one on your timeline. No, oh, you know, but you know how down. we do this thing now. When you hey, when you're scrolling, you're when you see it. when you see a, an attractive <laughs> lady, you go into her page and then you like pictures. Now you're talking. Okay. So I like pictures. No, but seriously, do you not think seventy is a lot? I don't like, if you have more than more than 100 pictures, mm -hmm. I, I would like, like, say, 50 to get your attention. Okay. Yeah. So, so you did that on purpose? Get, yes, I did. Okay. And I noticed that after 24 hours, mm -hmm. no response, she didn't like my pictures, nothing. And then the day after, like, 48 hours after, mm -hmm. I woke up in the morning yeah, and she saw had she had liked... Uh, so uh, many as well. Reciprocated the gesture, so did I she, went... What, did she like 70 as well of yours? I can't remember, but okay. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think she liked... But she liked a lot. A lot, okay. You know how you go so, to your to get your attention yeah, as well. And then you just see that somebody mm -hmm. had liked so many. So many, yeah. Okay. So okay. I went back... Thanks for that code. <laughs> I'll give you expo, uh, right? Expo. <laughs> so I went back to her page and I liked more yeah. pictures. Okay. All right, so, sorry, I know my um, colleagues here have a lot of questions, but let me just ask this one more yeah. um, because we're still on this subject you know yeah. so what's your take on people who actually do internet dating or uh, you know um, like um, this or associate this you know with uh, internet dating because some people mm. you know feel that it's not the way to go and it's a bit sad it's a bit depressing yeah. you know so yeah. what's your take on things like that before now I've never they call it catfishing, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never been catfished. And when it happened, because she was the one that sent me a DM. A DM yeah. You know, yeah. you you women, you, you don't like sending DMs. To That's why I said like. broke cool. Yeah. Yeah. So she sent me a DM. <laughs> Please, can I have your number? And I sent her my number. So sometimes it's a 50-50 thing. You might be. You not send out your number. You sent out your details. Why are you Plus casting me like <laughs> Snapchat. That's what, what we do right here. We spill tea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stop you know, saying so, it's small. <laughs> say it well. <laughs> so it's a 50 50 thing. Okay. Some people are lucky. Some are not. Okay. Um, you get to. You get. Uh, there's this program I watch on TV, Catfish, and mm. sometimes people steal people's pictures mm -hmm. to get to know yeah. somebody. And by the time you find out, you're already falling in love with the person, mm -hmm. or you're already dating the person. In Mm -hmm. So I think it's 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 if you feel if you feel it will work for you fine if you feel it I, I never believed that I would have anything to do with anybody online okay. let alone meet my wife online All right before we ask you our next question we'll go on a quick break yes time for a break when we return uh, we'll be bringing you more from Robbie Echo we'll be right back <music> We do not understand, we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. The suffered equally confessed. A 500 that are the collector. We have no talk, they will beat you. Now, two to other five are the pay. Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. Next up is a continuation of our conversation with on-air personality Robbie Ekbo. Okay, so who wants to ask him the next question? The uh, okay, let's talk about um, what would you do? 
Okay. You're on radio. Yes. And this is a day set aside by UNESCO to celebrate radio. So how has the experience been and how important do you think that medium is to a growing society like ours? Um, I feel like radio is something that everyone likes to listen to. Um, I mean, you get in your car, the first thing you do is turn on your radio, and it's, 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 it's been a, a positive impact on us. And um, even the advent of social media has not been able to take away that importance of radio. Mm -hmm. You know, I started radio about, uh, say, 12 years ago, and over time, it's gotten, it's, it's, it's been growing. Um, I work in the first privately owned radio station in Calabar, and uh, it had to take years and years for people to realize that, I mean, this thing is something that is necessary, you know. Um, and immediately we came into to the state, into Calabar, uh, Cross River State. After that, we had three other privately owned radio stations pop up in less than two years. Mm. So it's something that's fast, fast growing. And um, even, like I said, even the advent of social media doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that radio and television are, you know, they are, they are very, very important in, in yes, in, in this in, in information. Information? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, I'm going to go political right now because um, <laughs> I hate mean, politics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know you hate Oh, you do? I do. Oh, I was thinking but, you would tilt to a politics. No, your you mom know, mom is the great. Yeah, my my, my great yeah, my my, my grandmom, yeah. Your grandmom is Yeah, the yeah. Writer, so a lot of people a think right Exactly. So a lot of people think that I should be, you know, but you're not just that way inclined at all. <laughs> but, but it's fine. We okay, still we so still know. <laughs> let's talk political a bit, yeah. right? Um at this stage, people tend to tilt towards their political parties, and yeah. um, people use their platforms such as radio, television, to actually be in support and campaign for the wrong people. Mm. Now, I want to know, if you are contracted to do like a radio jingle yeah. for a certain party, which you do not believe in, it's against your ethics yeah. as your political ethics, yeah. would you take the money and run for that party and run the jingle for the party? You see, as, as a radio um, personality, um, I know that a lot of my colleagues, some of them are tilted to certain political parties. Mm -hmm. But I've been contacted severally to host um, a rally for different political parties. And my brother, if the pay is good, I'm not in any political party, but if the pay is good, I would do it. In um, 2015, I think, I did um, a rally for two opposing parties. Okay. They contacted me for the first one I did, and then three or four days later, this other party called me and... Don't you think that's how it should be? Like, I mean, that's like, how it should be, yeah, yeah, exactly. Should be able to run for anybody and not just be like, oh, even though I don't believe in those people. Exactly. Happen, so Shouldn't we have that freedom as on their personality? We should, we should. But like, like I said, a lot of people, a lot of my colleagues, are already tilted to maybe a particular political party or this political party. I think it, it, it's about time in Nigeria where we feel if this guy is credible, it doesn't matter the, the political party he, he's, you know, he's joined or is involved. It, has, it doesn't have to be uh, this guy. If this guy is credible mm -hmm. and he's in a political party, I mean, we can go ahead and vote him or we can go ahead and, you know, support him. But, no. but you know, sometimes politics is about the party as well. Exactly, that's my point. So, yeah. for example, you're contesting for a, a, a post, mm -hmm. and everybody knows you're credible. But then you hear people saying, if they say they did this party, or if mm -hmm. they say they did that party, which is why I feel like this dispensation that we are in mm -hmm. now, a lot of people are now aware that it doesn't really necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have to be the, the political party that you're involved in, mm -hmm. but the person who is contesting for it, that particular post. Like you said, uh, party mm -hmm. really it's, it's matters. It's all politics. I yeah. Think, because in one instance, it can be the person, you know, that people are conversing for. for. And sometimes it can be the pot party yeah. that people are conversing for. for. Yeah. So either way, it's all defined as politics. Politics, yeah. yeah. And before Elsie asked her question, I, while we're on politics, I just quickly wanted to ask, you know, because initially you said you're not um, politically inclined Sorry, in any way, shape, or form. I have a form. follow up question to okay. what he just talked about. Okay. If you're saying we need to tilt towards focusing more on um, the personality and not just the party. Don't you think INEC needs to do like a change to it? Because I have 
correct me if I'm wrong, when you're going to vote, mm. you're actually going to vote on the party. You're not going to see the name. All you need to do. So someone like, for example, in Banky is doing all he can to make sure everybody understands that this is the name of my, my party. party yeah. Yeah. This is the logo you are supposed, supposed to. Because to it gets to your point and they are very particular. Yeah. So if we're going to go that way, don't you think INEC, do you think INEC should get to the point where you are voting on the name and not just on the party? Um, I, I, I think voting on the, on the party at some point makes sense because um, political thuggery and all that mm -hmm. would probably be, uh, in, in, for example, we're going to vote and then they bring up the slip and we're going to vote for, you should know the uh, post or the position that you're yeah. going to vote yeah. for. Mm -hmm. If we say we're going to vote for House of Reps, mm -hmm. you already have in mind that I'm going to vote so, so, so and so party. So once they give you the slip, you know where you're voting. But if, like, that, that's why they need a lot of sensitization. A lot of people just go there and they go vote so, 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 and so, I'm going to mm -hmm. vote you. Mm -hmm. And then they get there, they can't even remember the, the awesome. party that you are in. Mm -hmm. sure. Do you understand? Sure. So they end up voting sure. the one they know, mm -hmm. the party that they know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like you said, INEC needs to, you know, bring up something or somehow to educate and sensitize people that, okay, even if you're not voting for the person mm -hmm. or even if you're voting for the party, this is the post that you are voting for presidency. This is whatever um, Senate and House of Rep. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that will, the yes, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. right. that will help a lot of people. Okay. All sure. right. Um, before we ask our next question, time for another break. So when we return, uh, we'll be uh, bringing you uh, more of our chat to our on-air personality, Robbie Epo. Don't go anywhere because we'll be right back. <laughs> It's where the big stories live. This is Plus TV Africa. When I did it, I was full on, hands on, on the whole project. So how did you that deal with it? All of that negative. I got depressed, obviously. Ob Duh. Haven't you heard? I've got two of the hottest topics currently trending on social media. If you've seen the word Senate trending on Twitter, that's because the Nigerian police force has gone Trump style. I probably haven't shared this with anyone, but I reckon I get about like 100 people asking for help a day. That's a fact. I can prove that. Welcome back. It's still tea time right here on Plus TV Africa. And we're sw swiftly uh, moving on in our conversation with life of any party. Compare extraordinaire Robbie Ekbo. Okay, so uh, before the break, we're talking politics, and I still want to continue in that line of direction because earlier on, when we asked you, you know, it was like there was an um, you were you were saying you were not really pol you don't like politics, you know. Let's start by asking: Are you going to vote on the sixteenth? Um, I would have loved to vote, but I have to start travelling back to Calabar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have my BBC anyways. Okay. Another so, um, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but from us having this conversation, I sort of noticed that um, you actually have an aversion to politics. <sighs> and um, this aversion, I have a feeling, is also as a result of so many things that you don't appreciate is happening in politics. So can you shed more light on that? What are the things that you really don't like? Because I know you mentioned something about um, having to travel all the way and yeah. things like that. But let's talk about the political climate in Nigeria generally. Mm. In as much as you don't like politics, mm. what are some of the things that really mm. annoy anger and you know upset you? The fact that, in fact, the main one is the fact that while growing up, we heard that we are the leaders of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we are still not the leaders of tomorrow. <laughs> and people who have governed us even before I was born, or maybe when I was born, are still canvassing to be. They are still representing fact, their guess, leaders. Exactly. Of <laughs> like, like I, 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 I know of someone who was a go um, was a governor for eight years, and then went to senate for another eight years, and is now coming back to be governor for eight years. I mean, that's that's the problem I have. That's mm -hmm. the only problem. Don't you I think his own mother told him he would be the leader? <laughs> 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 I mean, take a look at uh, the U.S. now. Um, we know that. You do eight years and then you go away. Mm -hmm. you, you, you don't see them trying to come back to be, mm -hmm. be in the Senate or come back to be. Mm -hmm. So it all boils down to corruption. Okay. Everybody knows what they're getting 
from being in the Senate or from being a governor. Or Do you being... think it's all about corruption, though, at the end of the day? Sometimes, Sometimes politics is like about power. power. Exactly. Power. So you picked it out of my head. Yeah. Okay. So, um, it's about power. power. I have a follow-up question to okay. that because um, you mentioned, I think you would have mentioned more. Like, Do you have more things that anger you about the system? I just feel like it, <coughs> if, 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 if we allow, like I said earlier, if we allow people that we know that are credible, you, know, you don't know if somebody is credible enough until you give him an opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know, if we allow those kind of things happen, I think we are around, we are now allowing ourselves to. Nigerians are becoming very enlightened mm -hmm. because if it was before, we know there would have not been this buzz on election. On election, I mean, there are a lot of new people coming out, mm -hmm. and people are like, "Oh, this guy, uh -uh, yeah. why no?" You know, but the only problem I have is the fact that they say, "Ah, this guy." He should have been in this party. Mm -hmm. Then he would have made more impact, mm -hmm. you know. But I just feel like they should allow people who we feel are credible. You give you an opportunity, you mess up after four years, you're out. I mean, there mm -hmm. is not a must that you must do eight years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not um, a must that you you've must mentioned do eight years. corruption. You've mentioned the issue of people wanting power, and then you've also mentioned um, what was the credibility. The credibility. Yeah. Now, as a public figure, as a person who has that platform, thousands of people listen to you on a daily. What are you doing about it? Like everything I say here, yeah. or everything I've said here, is the same thing I try to subtly say it on radio. You know, because you don't want to sound like you are an antagonist, or you want to sound like you are against the government. You know, you try as much as possible to use your platform to educate people and make them see that, okay, like you said, power, power belongs to the people. Allow, if, if we can do this in a free and fair, um, 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 uh, what's the word now, environment, yeah. you know, people go and we vote for who we think we should vote for. With the whole buzz around this election, I think that by the time we finish these elections, the people's choices would actually be the ones that are actually in power if we want if we want to be credible mm -hmm. and truthful with ourselves but like i said nigeria would always find a way to you do, see? You, do you think 2015 general election was free and fair uh yes i think so nigerians nigerians didn't want the pre the, our president at the time to continue. Mm -hmm. And they voted him out. Said, okay, you know what? We need somebody new. Let's give this guy. He's okay. been trying since 1999. Mm -hmm. And they gave him an opportunity. And four years after, you haven't done anything. Okay. So I feel like what happened in 2015, it's about so to happen again. So you're hopeful again. this one is going to be free? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful. I mean, it's the same buzz we had in 2015 that we're having now, even more. You know, a lot of people are like, we're tired, we're tired. And that's the same thing that happened in 2015. Considering that various INEC offices are getting bored. <laughs> 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 you really say it's going to be as free? I mean, hey. That's the point. That's the point. We had this morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. do you really think? It, well, with the whole sacking of the CJ, we all know that we're, we're trying to, the presidency is trying to, make everything be in his power in, 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 in the way that he can easily manipulate figures and change results but we'll like see I, how it goes Saturday is yeah. alright ladies and gentlemen <laughs> entertainment goes political <laughs> welcome to the show <laughs> ok so let's divert away from um, politics I think we should go back to radio let's not forget it's world radio day. Yeah, so yeah. let me go back to radio so you were uh, an, uh, an on air personality in Cross River and now mm. you're in Lagos you yeah. know, so I just wanted to get like um some kind of comparison, you know, mm. radio in Cross River and radio in Lagos. You must mm. have listened to a few radio stations here, yeah. you know, so what's your take on how it's done in, in, in Calabar? Uh, and how it's I, done I still here? work in Calabar, okay. you know, I go to Calabar, mm -hmm. which is why I'm trying to get a job in Lagos. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I think because you have over 50 radio stations in Lagos, it's not 50. <laughs> well, I get your point. Do. Yeah, yes. um, almost, almost 40, yeah. Okay. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you, you have a lot of options, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I like the fact that they celebrate a, a personality ahead of a radio station. Like somebody can pull traffic to a radio station depending on your personality. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we're trying to do in, in Calabar. We're trying to make... In Calabar, it's about the station, mm -hmm. not about the person, you know. 
probably because it was like that when the state um, the radio station was old, the only existing like radio station. But you know, like you said, everything about life has changed. So we're trying to, you know, bring that Lagos idea, the fact that a, a, a person can make people listen. If I'm working in this radio station and I leave and I go to this radio station, mm -hmm. I should be able to divert, pull my fans mm -hmm. from that radio station to, you know, but you still have faithfuls who would remain here, mm -hmm. but you have people who, ah, I like the way this guy presents, I like what he talks about, you know, and then, you know, the, the switch loyalty to to that, but mm. um, we're growing, it's it's a fast growing okay. uh, 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 community in, in, in Calabar. Like I said, um, first radio station in Calabar in, in started three years ago, and then in two years, we have four other radio stations coming up. So okay. one fully pigeon, mm -hmm. and then the other. Okay. Uh, so what radio right. format is your major? Mm -hmm. uh, I present a show that is called um, Funky Freaky Friday Show. Mm -hmm. So it's create like the life of the party now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, we're running out of time. So let me just quickly ask you my final question. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, you mentioned that you know it's um, that you're looking for a position here. With yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So in your um, pursuit, have you found it difficult or difficult to break in, or has it been? Uh, are, are people much more welcoming? Or um, it's 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 really much stringent in Lagos. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm, I I go to Calabar once in two weeks, spend two three weeks, and then come back to Lagos and then go back, and then in the process of trying to get a job here in Lagos, they're like, man, you know what? If you're not here two four seven, mm -hmm. you know, it's and as a wedding MC, sometimes you get to wed weddings out of town, so you have to travel a day before. Okay. Uh, but here they say lie lie you, mm -hmm. instead we'll cut it off from your salary. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I think that's precisely where we're going to uh, wrap up this morning. We're back this afternoon uh, with a brand new episode of the program. Until then, a big thank you to my co-anchors Elsie and Ife, the entire production team as well, and of course our guests on the program, Robbie Ekwe. Thank, thank you, you very much. All right, I'm Tukumbo. I was saying thanks for watching and from all of us here have a good morning.